Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 4th of August 1693, legend says that French Benedictine monk Dom Perignon invented champagne. Apparently, he shouted, Come quickly, for I am drinking the stars, and began the world's love for sparkling wine. Unfortunately, both of these claims are untrue. Firstly, there is no evidence that Perignon ever claimed to be drinking the stars, and the earliest reference to that now famous phrase is actually in a champagne advertisement from the 1880s, nearly 200 years after he apparently said it. Secondly, and most importantly, Dom Perignon did not invent champagne. In fact, he actually dedicated much of his time as cellar master at the Benedictine Abbey in haute to researching how to avoid making sparkling wine. Sparkling wine was a problem for Dom Perignon because the build-up of carbon dioxide from a secondary fermentation inside the bottle could cause it to explode without warning. In a cellar, the proximity of the exploding bottle to other bottles could set off a devastating chain reaction and so led to sparkling wine becoming known as Le Vin du Diable or the Devil's Wine. However, developments in English glassmaking in the 17th century led to the creation of bottles that could withstand the additional pressure and records, including a paper presented to the Royal Society in 1662, suggest that it was actually the English scientist Christopher Merritt who first developed the process to make sparkling wines through secondary fermentation. However, Perignon did make a significant contribution to the development of champagne as we know it today. In particular, he mastered the technique that allows winemakers to produce white wines from red grapes, a vitally important part of the champagne-making process. 